Introducing first, the challenger fighting out of Bella, Texas, weighing in at 265 pounds, the bear, Ruthless. of every country that he has not only competed in, but at an extremely high level. He has argued very successfully, may I add, that he is the cornerstone of reality of wrestling. Earlier this year, Ryan Davidson captured the one brass ring that always eluded him, the reality of wrestling championship. But then, Brad, along came a spider, or in this case, a cowboy. A man who has consistently been a thorn in the side of Rufus Ryan Davidson. Some might argue his kryptonite. Can Ryan Davidson finally break the bounty hunter curse here tonight and defeat Ryan Keith in a championship match? was the centerpiece of a moment that everyone in the Roe Nation will never forget when he defeated Ruthless Ryan Davidson and captured the Reality of Wrestling Championship. He almost had this look on his face, Brad Gilmore, a look of disbelief, almost like the beginning of Creed II, when he doesn't realize that he's been crowned heavyweight champion of the world. Ryan Keith now stands atop the reality of wrestling, and this is his first great title defense, and you won't find a bigger stage in the road for it, surrounded by that sadistic steel cane. You know, Matt Topolsky, earlier, you made a reference to the heavyweight championship of the world in boxing, Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua. Andy Ruiz shockingly beat Anthony Look Joshua. Out. Wait a minute. Look out here! Before Brian Keith could even get to the ring, Ryan Davidson taking the fight to him. Well, Brad, this matchup has not officially begun yet. But I don't think Brian Keith nor Ryan Davidson oh give a goodness. good goddamn about that. Referee trying to get this match inside the steel cage. The bell hasn't even rung. This championship contest hadn't even begun. As Brian Keith's about to go into the stairs, I think he's going to return the favor to Ryan Davidson. Big shout out to Mr. RIP 1979 and RC, who donated the super chat. What is that? Is that a hammer? For the fences. Oh. And that hammer may have been left under the ring because it was oh used my to help goodness. construct this structure that was supposed to keep these two athletes inside and off the floor. Ryan Davidson had a different plan entirely. And right now he is executing the playbook. Wait a minute. All the X's and O's. Now look out here, look out. No! Oh my goodness! A ripple effect into that guardrail. Ryan Keith able to reverse. Oh my goodness! And Ryan Davidson goes into it again. This match still hasn't even officially started, man. a genuine bloodlust that exists between these two. You saw it evident at the contract signing when Ryan Davidson. Well, you're hearing about it right, right now. Absolutely. Yep. 
and we know that's a strategy that Ryan Davidson used. We get that. He wants oh. to get under the skin of Ryan Keith. Oh. But again, be careful what you wish for, because he is quite literally cowboying up right now before the bell even rings. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Ryan to the side of that steel cage. And we haven't officially begun yet, but you're right, Matt Topolsky. That was all mental warfare from Ryan Davidson. I'm going to talk about your wife. I'm going to talk about your children at home. I'm going to try to do anything I can to throw you off your game. And now, Ryan Keith is officially inside that steel cage, and the bear is coming in right behind him. Davidson says, close it, that bell. That bell has been rung, and our main event officially begins for what feels like almost 10 minutes before it was supposed to start. As both champion and challenger turning the World Gym Arena into a demolition derby. of wrestling championship hangs in the balance. This is your high stakes main event at the 14th annual Christmas Chaos. wrestling due in large part to his defeat of Ryan Davidson taking that title away from him. What is Ryan Davidson gonna have to do to grab that title again this time from the clutches of the bounty hunter? Well he's gonna have to employ the strategy that we see him employ right now. I mean, Ryan Davidson flattening Brian Keith aside from that oh man god look at that steel look at that steel just bounce one two kick out I think Ryan Davidson had a strategy beginning uh, to begin with Matt Topolsky. His strategy was this. Get inside the mind of the champion, Brian Keith. Bum rush him before the match even starts. Try to gain any advantage that you can prior to this match officially beginning. And he's done a great job so, uh, of, of doing that. dislodging it from the ring. You get the sense as this feud boils over here tonight that that steel cage may not be enough to contain the rage between these two. And there's plenty of evidence in the opening moments to suggest that that might happen. Ryan Davidson was able to duck, and now he's got him in a sleeper hole. Oh, Brian Keith turns it into a neck breaker. Or excuse me, jaw breaker. One of the things that makes this matchup so dangerous, so sadistic, so problematic for the athletes involved is that steel structure that surrounds the ring because it acts as a standing, a permanent standing foreign object that can be used as a weapon at any time. And wait a minute, Brian Keith, I think, trying to utilize it. 
Remember, you can win by pinfall or escaping the cage. Brian Keith is going to escape, I think, right there. Uh-oh. Brian Davidson trying to prevent the bounty hunter. This is a dangerous position for both of these two to be in. Brian Keith trying to avert disaster here early. Wait a minute. Look at that side of the back. Off the top rope. Off the top rope. And if Brian Keith can turn over, maybe he can pin the challenger Ryan Davidson and retain his championship. But how much of it, how much of that was taken out of Brian Keith? How much did it take out of him? Placed elbows again coming back from the champion. Now the challenger responds with a few of his own. A war of attrition. Oh. And the vestiges of that war evident on both athletes and already. Brian, Brian Keith asking for the referee to open the door. And the door is open. All Brian Keith has to do is step out of it. But Ryan Davidson has him by the ankle. And he's going for it. Ryan Keith with an insecurity. And now he's just a few feet away from walking out. Still reality of wrestling champion, but that few feet feel like a mile when you're inside that cage with a bear. Now ironic that the bear had the bounty hunter by the ankle, almost catching him in a bear trap, if you will. And now the door, cage door shuts, and these two men continue going. Tilt the World Rodeo DDT. Rodeo from the champion! Can he capitalize? Hooks the leg, two, That's it. to retain the championship. The bear gets that giant shoulder up and continues. This bout of brutality inside this sadistic structure, which houses our main event at Christmas Chaos, the 14th edition, brought to you live on YouTube from the Blue Label brand. And meanwhile, the bounty hunter looks to claim yet another. He's going to climb out, Brad. Ryan Keith up top again, fighting Ryan Davidson off. No! 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 Oh, no. The unintended consequences of progress right there. Drop Brian Keith below the belt on that top rope, and it can't feel good. That'll slow any cowboy down. And Brian Davidson, Bear Lariat! Bear Lariat! The velocity on that Bear Lariat. Unmatched. Buckle Bob! Wait a minute. Davidson Driver! Ryan Davidson to become a two-time reality of wrestling champion! How in the no. hell did Brian Keith kick out of that? coupled with a buckle bomb, then into a Davidson driver, and the champion kicks out. The look of shock and awe in the eyes of ruthless Ryan Davidson. Very apparent now. He is just as surprised as we are and the World Gym Arena. Now the final boss looks to climb out and capture the title. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Ryan Davidson trying to get out there, trying to leverage his weight. What is he thinking? Ryan Davidson from the top. Oh my gosh. Went for a corkscrew frog splash. The final boss not known as a high flyer. Now gets a high knee to his face. Oh! Boot to the face, coming back! Shot upstairs to the dome from the champion! One blast after another! Wait a minute! And Muscle Buster! For Brian Keith! One! Two to retain! Wow! the 
convince Brad Gilmore that Brian Keith is game for it here tonight. He understands what is on the line. Well, I think that your comparison to Andy Ruiz is proving to not be a good one because Brian Keith is not coming in here like the former heavyweight champion of the world. Not coming out of here out of shape, overweight, and not focused. Exactly the opposite. And Brian Keith goes up to the top. And that he's in position. Brian Keith can make it out of the ring. Brian Keith is a long way away. And the Bears still got a grab on him. Can Bryant get over and just drop to the floor? Ryan Keith! Wait a minute, Ryan Davidson. Away. Ryan Davidson trying to climb out as well! Oh, ring the bell! Brian Keith retains! Here is your winner, and still the reality of wrestling champion, Brian Keith! Brian Keith has proven tonight that he is more than a one-hit wonder. Brian Keith has a catalog of performances to come, and you will witness them as he continues to don the reality of wrestling championship. Hats off to two of the finest to ever do it in the reality of wrestling. But tonight, Brian Keith extends his streak against Ryan Davidson. He's got a champagne shower in his future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here tonight, live on YouTube for Christmas Chaos 14. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and tell everyone about the Blue Label brand of professional wrestling. For the crew and for Brad Gilmore and for the reality of wrestling, I'm Matt Topolsky. Brian Keith is still champion. Good night.